Broward nonprofit organization is using horses to transform the lives of children and adults with disabilities. Equus for Humanity was started after one doctor saw how her own son responded to a horse. She then set out to help others. Walk on top of the can you put one hand to the sky? Oh, 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 okay. Big clap for JJ! On a dead-end road in Southwest Ranches, there's a place where all of these kids come together with one thing in common. Not the fact that they have a disability, but their love of horses. What is your favorite thing to do? Ride a horse. The horse is my co-therapist. Dr. Giselle Fabel is a clinical psychologist and the founder of Equus for Humanity. Out here, she combines her two passions, psychology and these unique human-like creatures. Horses are exquisitely sensorial beings. And when we work with them in psychotherapy, they basically um, connect with the person in, in ways that other animals won't, or even in ways that it, uh, in therapy it's very hard to do who bring their children here agree. They're seeing progress mentally. She's working in her cognition, her motor skills. It's like a complete job. And physically with hippotherapy. It helps with coordination and balance um, because normal walking on a horse simulates upright human walking. So it, it gives you that, it gives her that same feeling. Do you have a favorite part about riding horses, yeah. Dr. Fabel? Tell me about your favorite part. Like going around? Yeah, then come back. In addition to the doctors, the therapists, and the children, it also takes a very special type of horse to work with these children. Each one matched up specifically with the right child depending on their needs. Traveler, for instance, spent the day today with Maddie. Six, seven, he has a slow pace. Um, he's uh, Matt, we also work on Maddie's on stretching Maddie's legs out. So he he's, has a nice wide barrel for that stretch, and he also has this movement pattern that's equal in all planes. The motto out here is horses transforming lives. And for a once shy Emma, who hardly spoke when she started, and for six-year-old Chris, Hi. high five. You did awesome today. Good job. Okay. okay. His mother was told her son would never walk again. That's exactly what's happening.